In this video, we will discuss a question from ISS 2020 paper 1, question number 1. The question is, the value of the Kolmogorov Mirno statistic to test whether the observations 0 0.32, 0 0.16, 0 0.98, 0 0.16 and 0 0.08 arise from a uniform 02 population is option A 0.16, option B 0.52, option C 0.64 and option D 0.76. So the question is to find the value of Kolmogorov Mirno statistic to test whether the given sample came from uniform zero to population. Kolmogorov Mirno test is a non-parametric test used to check the goodness of fit. So for a uh, Kolmogorov Mirno statistic problem, the hypothesis will be of the form H0 capital F of X equal to F0 of X. That is, we are testing whether the distribution function of the given sample is equal to some f0 of x. For this problem, f0 of x will be the distribution function of uniform 0 to. Suppose we are testing the normality for a given sample, then f0 of x will be the distribution function of normal distribution. So our null hypothesis is to test whether f of x equal to f0 of x where f0 of x is the distribution function of uniform 0 to distribution. For uniform 0 to we have the form of distribution function f0 of x is equal to zero if x less than zero x minus zero by two minus zero that is x by two if zero less than or equal to x less than or equal to two and is one if x greater than 2. Okay. Here the alternative hypothesis will be as usual h1 f of x not equal to f not of x. not equal to f not of x okay now let's discuss uh, the form of kolmogorov mirno statistic let x1 x2 etc xn be a sample from a distribution function capital f and let fn star of x be a corresponding empirical distribution function the statistic dn which is equal to supremum of x absolute value of fn star of x minus f of x is called the two-sided kolmogorov mirno statistic and dn plus equal to supremum over x fn star of x minus f of x dn minus equal to supremum of x f of x minus fn star of x are called the one-sided kolmogorov mirno statistic dn is known as two-sided kolmogorov mirno statistic and dn plus and dn minus are called one-sided kolmogorov mirno statistic so clearly dn is equal to the maximum of dn plus and dn minus now for the testing problem h0 f of x equal to f0 of x against h1 f of x not equal to f0 of x we will reject our null hypothesis at a level alpha if the value of dn is greater than dn alpha 
but here we only want to uh, find the value of the test statistic dn so to find the value of dn we have to find the value for dn plus and dn minus and then take the maximum as dn we can also express dn and dn minus in terms of order statistic which is given by dn plus equal to the maximum of maximum 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to 1 i by n minus f of xi comma 0 suppose the value of i by n minus f of xi is negative uh, that is less than 0 then we take the value of dn plus as 0 similarly dn minus is defined as the maximum of maximum 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n f of xi minus i minus 1 by n comma 0 uh, the derivation of these expressions are given in introduction to probability and statistic by vk rahaji uh, if someone need you can refer Okay, now let's go to the problem. We have the samples 0 0.32, 0 0.16, 0 0.98, 0 0.16 and 0 0.08. Now, write the given observation in increasing order. That is 0 0.08, 0 0.16, 0 0.16, 0 0.32 and 0 0.98. Now, the, that is given the value of x, we get f naught of x is equal to x by 2. Also, we can see all the observation uh, that is the value of x lies between 0 and 2. So, uh, in that interval, the value of f naught of x is equal to x by 2. So, f naught of x for the value 0 0.08 is 0 0.04. Similarly, for 0.16 it is 0 0.08, 0 0.08. For 0 0.32 it is 0 0.16 and 0 0.98 it is 0.49. Now, let's find and in the next column we check the values for i by 5 minus f naught of x so that we can find the value of dn plus by taking the maximum the of i by n minus f of xi comma 0. So consider i by 5 minus f naught of x which is equal to i by 5 will be 1 divided by 5 for the first problem sorry for the first value for the first observation i by 5 which is equal to 1 by 5 minus 0 0.05 it gives 0 0.16 second will be 2 by 5 minus 0 0.08 which is equal to 0 0.32 then 3 by 5 minus 0 0.08 which is equal to 0 0.52 then 4 by 5 minus 0 0.16 which is equal to 0 0.64 and 1 minus 0.49 which is equal to 0.51 similarly you can find the values f naught of x minus i minus 1 by 5 so first column sorry for the first value i minus 1 by 5 will be 0 thus f naught of x minus i minus 1 by 5 will be equal to 0 0.04 minus 0 So, for the first value, we get f0 of x minus i minus 1 by 5 as f0 of x minus 0, which is equal to 0 0.04. And then for the second value, it is 0 0.08 minus 1 by 5, which is equal to minus 0 0.12. For the third value, 0 0.08 uh, minus 2 by 5, which is equal to minus 0 0.32. 16 minus 3 by 5, it is equal to 0 0.44. And finally, minus sorry 0.49 minus 4 by 5 which is equal to minus 0 0.31 therefore the value of dn plus is equal to we have dn plus is the maximum of i by n minus f of xi comma 0 so it would be equal to 0 0.64 so the value of dn plus is 0 0.64 and for the dn minus, it is the maximum value in f of xi minus i minus 1 by n, comma 0. The maximum value is 0 
then the value of the test statistic dn the kolmogorov's test statistic dn is the maximum of dn plus comma dn minus which is equal to 0.64 therefore the value of the kolmogorov test statistic to test whether the given observations are from uniform 0 to is dn equal to 0.64 therefore the answer is option c